Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today, it was supposed to be warmer today, but it really felt colder. The wind blew and it blew my chicken house. I had just put the tarp on it because I noticed the, noticed the chickens like to go underneath it and I thought, you know, this should have a little shade and a little bit of protection from in case it rains. Well, the wind was so bad today, it blew it over the electric fence and into the mud hole that we have over there where the French drain drains down into. So I dragged that up by the house. And today we did a lot of little chicken chasing. It was, it's all the babies still fit through the fence. And so they were, the mama was by the edge of the fence and the little babies would scoot through and go up into the grassy area. And they almost blend so well with the grass that you, you almost don't see them. Well, the neighbor lady called. She said to me that she, your chickens are out. And she got a little nervous because she says, you know, we live on a very busy road, which the road is not real busy right now. But chickens are supposed to be very smart and not, not go into the road, from what I understand. Because I know my daughter, when she had her chickens, they would be on the edge of the road, but when a car would be coming, they would seem to move and get out of the way so hard. She never lost any to the road, but she did lose them to the fox and to the possum, or was it a possum maybe? Mm, or weasel? Possibly. There weasel. was a weasel. And there was a hawk that actually flew into her chicken house. Now today, you're going to see my chickens, and they're all taking a bath. You'll see that, and you will see um, me gather some eggs, and you're going to see what I had for supper. And I want to thank Boone for um, giving me the idea. I wanted to say her last name, and I forgot it. It's it's um, Child, Boone Child, Boone Child. I think it is. <laughs> she knows who I mean, and you'll know who I mean because I'm going to put the link in there. She made this chicken pizza. It was the the crust with the bottom was of chicken and spinach. And then she put some, oh, what was that I put on top? Mozzarella? No, no, the, I put the no. cheese on. Oh, the Alfredo the sauce. Alfredo sauce. Yeah, I couldn't think of the Alfredo sauce. I put Alfredo sauce on top. I happened to have a jar in the, in the pantry. So I put that on, and I put the rest of it in the freezer because I don't know when I will use Alfredo sauce again. So I, I froze it in a container that's kind of flat. So if I want to, I can break part of it off. I don't have to thaw the whole thing off because it's in a, a plastic container that's rather, it's an oblong container. I do that a lot of times with things so that I don't have to take the whole amount because you don't want to thaw the whole amount out. You only want a certain amount of it. So I did that and that's what we had for supper. It was very good. The only thing I would do different is I would put salt in the mixture. I didn't put any salt in because I never know how salty things are going to be. But I think next time I will put salt in the mixture of the chicken and the spinach. And this way it should be just perfect. It was so good. If and you're watching, Vaughn, thank you. It was very, very good. <laughs> he was happy that I cooked because I don't cook very often. I watch you cook and I'm thinking, oh, how ambitious you are. But oh, I'm not that ambitious. If it was a dish of some kind of um, pasta that I used to make, I would gladly make it. But I don't dare make it because I know I'll eat too much. And he seems to, Jim seems to be fine on just meats. I'm not a big meat eater, but I'm eating more meat than I ever did in my whole life. I really did. It wasn't my favorite. We, my brother used to call me the potato and pasta bug, and I used to call him the meat hound because he preferred meat and I preferred the other foods. That's, I guess, my video for today. I haven't got it. I did have a lot of stuff, but I can't remember what I was thinking as the day goes by. So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Silver Fox, both of your babies can't come off the, can't come down. So you're going to have to go back in. Go back in. There you go. Rosie can't fit through the fence anymore. She's gotten too wide.
The other one squeezes through, but I think that's the boy. Bath time in the ten house. Everybody's down there taking a bath. Look at even the roosters there. Fluff at the feathers. Oh, don't leave. Take a bath. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them that were bathing. Nine of their bath that were bathing. Wow, oh, they put the dirt all over each other. <laughs> it's so funny watching them. Lots of eggs. These two are so pretty. Boone, this is for you. Actually, it's for me, but this is the same thing that you made. I've got my um, chicken with the Alfredo sauce and the cheese and the spinach, and it's going to be delicious. I better get it out of the oven. I think it's done. Voila, there you go. If you want to know how to make this, check out Voon. She will show you how. I'm going to have this for supper, and it was her idea, and boy, it ought to be good. It's, it's a pizza. It's a pizza that's good for anybody that's on keto and wants to have a high-protein meal, so we're going to enjoy.